I wasn't doing it out of revenge. I was doing it uh, as a job. Responsible for 62 deaths, but it was his job. My name is Jerry Gibbons. I was the executioner for the state of Virginia for 17 years. Well, we trained uh, basically uh, for electrocutions. We were always acted out as if uh, the inmate would put up a resistance because we didn't know exactly what he was thinking at that particular time until it actually occurred. But uh, out of the 62 people that I've executed, uh, we had never had one to resist. Gibbons tailored the electrical voltage for each execution, but without formal medical training, he says much of it was guesswork. The guy was a real big guy. I would run it on a 45 second high cycle and a 45 second low cycle. And, but if he was a small frame guy, I would run it probably on the 45 cycle first on a high cycle and then reduce it. Uh, so uh, I would kind of judge it on my own. In 1995, Virginia offered death row inmates another option, lethal injection. Gibbons says he administered the lethal drug cocktail to 35 inmates. I don't like that uh, form of execution because of the fact that you feel more attached rather than just pushing the button and uh, having the current to flow through. You have to stand at the end of the syringe and push the uh, chemicals through. And you have three chemicals with uh, flush between each one. A difficult duty for a man who didn't think he would have to execute anyone when he took the job. At that particular time, we didn't have anybody on death row, and I thought it over. I said, well, a person had to be crazy, knowing that uh, Virginia can start the death penalty back, probably, and they go out to commit a crime knowing that they were going to be executed. That's simply volunteer suicide. He eventually had to do his job but says he found solace in prayer. Before the execution, uh, we will form my team and others' members will, will, will form a circle and we will have prayer. We will pray for the condemned family as well as the victim's family, you know, uh, and I think it helped us. And I, I ask God that uh, never allowed me to take that innocent life because I will feel just as guilty as that person that I'm executing. It's rare for an executioner to reveal his or her identity. Gibbon says it's a secret he kept even from those closest to him. You know, my wife knew at the time that I worked on death row, but she didn't know exactly what my particular job, my assignment was. I never exposed that to her. And I didn't think that, uh, you know, she needed to know that. The secret he held on to for 17 years was exposed after a conviction in 2000 for money laundering and perjury. He maintains his innocence, but the conviction cost him his job and his confidence in the death penalty. And I knew then that uh, the system wasn't right because I was treated unfairly. Maybe uh, some of the condemns that I executed weren't given a foul trial. So. All sorts of things started going into your mind, you know. So I think this is, was a, a wake-up call from God to allow me, let, to let me know that it do happen.